next little bit here, next canyon or two, I think is my favorite, you know, part of this trail. This trail was an out and back for me. It's about 25 miles long one way. So if you do the whole thing, you're about 50 miles. Um, there's some little offshoot things that we found where you can do some more. You make it 60-ish. Probably not gonna do that today. I'm alone and I've got my drone and but oh yeah. And I'm just not feeling that much today. I'm just not really in the zone. I mean, I've done this trail, you know, all the way several times, even alone. But I think today I've just got a feeling that I'm not gonna, not gonna do the whole thing. Just kind of listening to, I don't know, listening to myself, how I feel, that voice inside my head says just, Take it easy today, Brotherson. So that's what I'll do. I'll take it easy, Brotherson. It's always good to know your limits I mean it's good to push your limits too I wasn't feeling that great anyway kind of had to talk myself into even coming over here today just because some of the work things I have going on just random stuff you know Ultimately though, I'm glad that, I'm glad I came out. <clears throat> Got a pretty fun little climb out section here, I think. It's not nasty or anything, but. At least, well, I can't remember if the trail got washed out or not. I don't think this section of the trail got washed out. I had to come out, had to come out on this section of the trail an hour and a half ago and some sections of the trail got massively washed out I think this part coming up to the point of the canyon here, I think it got washed out a little bit, but not, not like super bad or anything. Nope, not this one. Happened pretty dang fast. Hit a rock, roll out front wheel. Loose rock, kind of the size of a baseball. Next thing you know, bites in the dirt. Are still straight. <laughs> this 
second gear climb out here even though I can't really see too far in front of me The XC today. Craft Moto plush tank installed. The valve is set to plush. Right now, this is makes it really nice. Actually, makes this air fork perform heck of a lot more like the uh, XCW Explorer fork, which is a good thing in terrain like this, conditions like this. I just love the gearing of the XC and the grunt of this 252 stroke. It's not as much grunt as the 300, but it's just enough. Keep you going, sit down. Relax this tree branch. First again, do that, switch back. back by your hand guards and then they just come in and whack you. Super annoying. Gotta go down this thing and then up that other valley over there. That, up into that saddle and once we get over over there that's where the trail really got washed out because we haven't really seen any of the washout on this part 